Oh, morning folks. I'm going to do a bit of roving around the uh, Snaggy Tree Bay today. As you can see, there's little nooks and crannies and everything all over the place. I've actually got two rods out at the moment. One down under that tree. One down around the corner under the tree around there. I'm sitting down at the moment, so I'm not really going to move. There's, uh, there's just a good few little areas and all sorts of bits and pieces to go do. Probably spend about an hour and a half on each swim. I think there's a lot of a lot of potential in each swim to be fair. Um, we'll just see how we get on over the next four hours. But, uh, usually, usual dead baits, sardines, and mackerel. Let's see how we get on. I might stick a herring on later, actually, to be fair. Let's see how I get on with that. But uh, that's basically where I am at the moment. So, what I'll try and do is a little update of every swim I end up in. So, this is the first swim of the day, and we'll see how we get on with the next swim. I'll see you a bit later on. Cheers now. Well guys, I've uh, moved to another area now. In this uh, small bay here. But you can see through the other side, that's the main part of the lake. So I've got a bait down in that corner there. Put the ledger rod down there. And I've got the float out there towards those hanging trees. And then I'll probably put one there later on with those other hanging trees. But uh, you can see, it wasn't quite Opposite earlier, that's the opposite, and over and through there. As you can see, this place is quite, um, well, quite a labyrinth. If I go past here, down here, you can actually see the bay I'm in at the moment, where my float is at the moment. The swim, I was obviously fishing, was underwater, so I'm actually having to walk around the tree and put my rods on the rest around there. Make things a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, that's the main part of the lake through there. There's uh, more little islands and channels and gaps and everything through there. Through there, there's another back bay around here. So it's basically like a, a labyrinth for the carp and pike and every other species you can think of. You can hide. That's why I love this place. There's so many options. You can't actually night fish the area I'm fishing at the moment, it's like a day fishing only, which is fantastic. When I say day, you can fish from 7 to like 11 o'clock at night, so you do get uh, a fair bit of uh, a fair bit of the crack of the whip, as it were. But no, we shall see how we get on here. We'll spend another hour a little bit here, see how we get on. But uh, I don't know, I might actually uh, sling some baits out in there. I just don't know, really. <laughs> Too much to choose from. Uh, we shall see how we get on. The bait's sitting out there nicely at the moment on the bottom. So we might uh, back here. We might uh, I need to try and get close to that tree but it's a very hard cast. I can't actually cast out of this one because you've got the branches up. Uh, you can do a side cast so we'll, we'll practice on that. Let's see how we get on with there. But we'll see, we'll give it a go. You know, there's pike carver. Uh, strange things anyway I'll see you later now I'll give you an update later on see you later now. all right guys this is the uh, last swim of the day third attempt I'm trying to catch a pike don't seem to be um, doing a very good job at the moment I've got one on right on that margin there just gotta have silver fish and things in it and the other one is over there on a float in that bay. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on really. That could pose me a few problems that one could be. But uh, we've sort of worked out where we can walk and where we can't walk in the water. If we need to do some emergency walking up and down the bank, I'm trying to get a bit of a different angle on it. But it does look it does look quite good. You know, I might drag it back and just fish really Right close in here to be fair. Just never know where these pike are at the moment. They're clearly not where I am in this bay at the moment, which is surprising me. So I think my next trip, if I don't get any joy here, I'll have to be back in the main lake, which is where I had them the other day. I know they weren't very big, but they were actually pike. And I did catch a few, so where there's uh, well, there's one or two, there must be more you think. 
Anyway, it's uh, well, a bit fresh out here in this cold wind at the moment. So we'll just sit and uh, wait for the wait for those bobbins and that float to go. And we'll see how we get on, really. Right, uh, I'll catch you up later, folks. Thank you very much again.